Hello, this is Rick Whitman with a refresher in geology and some terms. To start, basically there are a lot of items on Earth. If we know the specific identity of an atom, we call it an, we call it an element, hence the periodic table of the elements. And here you find, compared to silicon, how frequently you will find other elements on the Earth. The rare earths are down here in the yellow, um, for example, and also the more common rock forming elements are up here oxygen, silicon, um, iron, calcium, potassium, and others. We tell one rock apart from another through several tests. The first, the top left one, is how hard is it, relatively speaking, to other things? Uh, how dense is it? Uh, you may think of this as heaviness, but it's compared in grams per centimeter cubed. And also the streak or color. For example, no matter what color iron ore is, taconite tends to be a grayish black. And really high quality uh, iron ore uh, itself will streak red on a white ceramic plate. It's a kind of a tell. Now, we have igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic rocks. I'm going to take a quick look at each one and give you an example or two. We can tell igneous rocks, even more basic than what you see here, is where they come from. If they come from a volcano or above ground, uh, they get oozed out above ground like the volcanic rock in Hawaii. They're called extrusive. If it's formed below the surface, it's called intrusive. The most classic extrusive would be uh, any of these uh, uh, items that are thrown from volcanoes called scoria is a typical one. Some are solids, but often they're pitted like this because they've been puffed with air as they went up and fell back down to earth and cooled along the way. Also, you have granite. The classic granite consists of three different uh, minerals. So minerals form rocks, not the other way around. Sometimes we can also tell something by the color. For example, uh, most granite rocks, if you go out to the Rocky Mountains, they, from a distance they look gray. That's because these colors to the eye kind of blend at a distance, and they tend to be um, heavy in iron, called felsic as a, and silicon, as opposed to uh, mafic rocks, magnesium and uh, iron second. And then there's other characteristics. <clears throat> the only glassy ones we have are obsidian, uh, the glass formed in uh, volcanoes and extruded from them. Sedimentary rocks tend to occur in layers. Think of it as um, silt in the bottom of ponds or puddles or deposition in the bottom of the ocean over a lot of time. So what you have with them frequently is uh, they'll contain other objects if it's from a mud flow like you see here, or if it was deposited in layers for a long, long time, you'd see it in, in uh, real fine layers here. By the way, you can have, if they feel smooth, it's more like what we call a siltstone. If it's coarse and you can feel it with your thumb, it can be a sandstone base. One particular tell, not all, but many sedimentary rocks contain fossils, as you see in some kinds of coal, called bituminous. Anthracitic coal, however, is not sedimentary and therefore does not contain fossils. Now these can be put down as a washout. Detrital means uh, bits and pieces. Chemical can, can uh, precipitate out over time. Your uh, carbonates, for example, and bioclastic pieces of living organisms, and that's where you have your fossils. And that should help you a little bit with, with uh, sedimentary. Uh, next, we're going to look at... Uh, our old buddies metamorphics, which can be a little bit tougher for many people. Now, these can be uh, these can be uh, foliated, or have bends in them, or layers in them, or they might not. Um, one way to tell them is if the crystals are all uh, squished together and jumbled around a lot. Instead of having a granite, you might have had a granite that was metamorphosed. If you have mans like you see here, uh, chances are it's metamorphic, especially if it's uh, if it occurs in um, 
with bends and creases in it, as you see here as well in uh, these uh, schist models. So more than anything else, you want to look at uh, uh, the, the composition and um, if you can still see something of the, uh, uh, of the parent material, it would tell you uh, something else about it. Now, your classic metamorphic rocks will be the ones that are twisted and burned. Uh, marble, for example, is, uh, is, a, is a compressed form of uh, limestone over time and it will form those crystals. Metamorphic requires a long time, a lot of heat, and a lot of pressure. That's all we have for now. This has been a short review of some geology items.